Good evening, I'm Jen Kane. And I'm Kipley Brown. Here's tonight's top story. Florida Senator Marco Rubio announced his candidacy for the Republican presidential nomination, or as his campaign posters will call him, the one that's not Ted Cruz. <laughs> in an attempt to distance himself from his brother, Jeb Bush said in a speech that I'm my own person. Added Jeb, if I become president, I will find my own unique way to completely screw over the country. <laughs> Former New England Patriot Aaron Hernandez was found guilty of murder. As a result, the NFL is considering the possibility of maybe suspending him. <laughs> Beginning June 1st, United Airlines will offer free beer and wine on international flights. United wants their passengers to have the same experience during a flight that their pilots have. <laughs> an espresso machine is being delivered to an astronaut aboard the International Space Station on the next supply shipment from Earth. The other astronauts say it's unnecessary since he could just go to one of the space station's seven Starbucks locations. <laughs> <laughs> On Friday, Instagram announced that it will no longer censor breastfeeding photos, which is good news for new moms and better news for perverts. <laughs> right, Herb? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're hard news. Meet Hollywood here with the entertainment news is Ashton Kutcher! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Kanye West was named to Time Magazine's list of the 100 most influential people. The list was put together by Kanye West. <laughs> was arrested last week on drug charges. Police knew Nelly had to be high on something, because even though it wasn't hot here, he still took all his clothes off. I'll get that one. <laughs> <laughs> After six seasons, FX aired the final episode of its drama series, Justified. In related news, for six seasons, FX has apparently been airing a drama series called Justified. <laughs> I'm handsome. <laughs> and finally, Tori Spelling was hospitalized with burns after falling onto a hibachi grill. <laughs> it was Tori's worst accident since that time she fell into having an acting career. <laughs> oh, burn! Thank you. Breaking news. News anchor messes up and skips a couple of jokes. Now we're just gonna go back. Pretend it never happened and maybe the slides will match, maybe not. But let's hear a story. <laughs> After a measles outbreak hit the park last year, Disneyland announced that it is now 100% measles free. Added a park official. It was so easy. I mean, like, all we did was raise our ticket prices and the measles couldn't renew their annual passes. <laughs> A new trailer for the latest Star Wars movie was released Thursday. It's so up to date that in it, Han Solo actually crashes the Millennium Falcon on a golf course. <laughs> An 80-year-old Alabama man went to prom as his granddaughter's date. Said the man, Rob was fun until my granddaughter learned that it was all a bet. But I really did fall in love. <laughs> Tiger Woods said that after dislocating his wrist during a Masters tournament, he had to push back a bone that kept popping out. Usually when a bone keeps popping out of Tiger's body, he just lets a Hooters waitress handle it. <laughs> a new study found that the quality of air travel is getting worse. Commented one of the researchers, 
Our study did find that air travel has indeed gotten worse. What our research couldn't figure out is, what's the deal with airline food? Oh. And what's with those small bags of peanuts? I mean, who are they for? Who are the ad wizards who came up with this one? Am I right? <laughs> Another new study, and listen carefully, <laughs> finds that the key to surviving a tsunami may be walking faster away from it. <laughs> There's more though, because you wouldn't want to run. No, you just want to walk faster, which pretty much proves that avoiding a tsunami is pretty much like avoiding crazy people in LA. <laughs> In Tampa, a school for strippers has closed due to complaints from neighbors. That's okay, it was my safety school anyway. <laughs> Said chastity. <laughs> in Tampa, a school for, oh, nope, this one's off tonight. A man in New York Times Square dressed as Cookie Monster was arrested this week for allegedly groping a teenage girl. Said the man's lawyer. He's been charged with one count of child molestation. <laughs> Two counts of child molestation. <laughs> Three counts of child molestation. <laughs> this really isn't funny. He's going away for a long time. 